I drafted most of my blog while walking in circling Beardmore School, starting from our house in Millstrom Way, then shifted right, arriving at the school soccer field. I pause here when a throng of geese gather. The tempo of their slim neck bobbing is soft and delightful to see. Their quacking not as strong and irritating. Unlike the turkey which horrified me as a teen boy. My dread of turkey started when my mom said to take a bowl of mango soup to her twin sister living four houses away. I passed the bogs home, our neighbor. That enormous bird with dreadful beak lingered in there. The animal went berserk. It stabbed me with its snout. I fell and the burning soup swarmed my rib cage, scraped my skin. Whenever we have turkey at Christmas, I recall that incident. While I'm engaged with the geese, I don't know why turkey enters the picture. Now the geese black the roadway. Cars stop, wait until the flocks reach the man-made lake bordered by homes. Nice interruption. When I left home, my thoughts fixed on Maria Ressa of Rappler, the press that receives the fury of Duterte. I viewed the video after Judge Reynalda Estacios Montesa convicted Ressa of cyber libel. At press conference, Ressa's remark, a thousand cuts, took me. Hmm, that excites me. So I pitched the ideas loud, my supposed opening, middle, and resolution. An aged woman strolling with her dog heard me shouting an expletive as we paced. She stopped. What did you say? Oh, sorry, mom. I'm just talking out loud ideas to write about. Why are you glaring at me when you cursed? Next time, leave your thoughts at your desk, not on the street. Okay, mom. Stupid Duterte! I shouldn't have passed him in front of this woman with a dog.